the last few times I've filmed it's been here in my living room that might look like I've changed my setup but I haven't I've just I haven't tidied my room in like a month and it's becoming kind of gross and smells odd so like So the day I'm filming this is the 1st of August, which means technically it should have been the end of veg. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about that a bit. So yeah, veg failed and that's okay. It happens sometimes. It's always happened with me um, and I'm okay with it this time. I've always been really upset and I haven't been able to because like, usually it hasn't had anything to do with me. Whilst this time around um, it did and that's okay. I guess we're going to call this Lily's Realizations. <laughs> during the summer of 2017 that may or may not have changed his life a little bit for the better. Firstly, um, it was clear I needed to get some help. Uh, I'm in that process once again. Um, yeah, I think that breakdown was essentially the best. Oh, lighting, no. No, 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 please don't, please don't screw up. <laughs> um, yeah, that video was essentially the one thing that made me realise it. Uh, which is sad that I needed a video to prove it, but yeah, I'm in that process again and I may have not started that if it wasn't for me speaking to a camera and realising how I felt. Secondly is that I don't feel the same way about YouTube as I used to. Uh, veg for me was a way of expressing the creativity that I've been building up over the school year that I hadn't been able to express and I haven't been able to do that because I just don't feel the same way about YouTube. I don't think it's a creative platform for me anymore and that's okay, people change, platforms change. Um, but there is no near future where I see myself doing YouTube again like I used to because I just don't feel the same way about it. It's not something that motivates me or makes me want to create. <laughs> New segment of YouTubers dying, according to Lenny. Um, in my case it is. I don't think I'm ever going to return to YouTube as a systematic thing. I don't have an audience. I, um, but more importantly I don't have this need to share and create like I used to. I've changed and YouTube's changed and it hasn't been able to coincide and that's okay. But thirdly and most importantly I've realised I need to change and I am changing, but I need to change. Uh, I took a break from social media as I took a break from that veg thing I tried doing. Uh, it wasn't really coincidental, it was more that I had after my little breakdown. Uh, I just isolated myself from the world for a week or two. I was the worst I've been in a while, but like actively, like before I was a bit passive, but this was actively. I can't move, I can't think. I talked to my parents. They started getting me some help. We'll see how that goes. But um, I also took a break from social media. That was more afterwards when I realised that it wasn't helping and it has helped a little bit. So I haven't been on Twitter for a while or Instagram. Um, I'm gonna bring that back because Sitsi's soon and I have to prepare for that. Obviously I'm gonna need Twitter there for that. But um, I leave on holiday the minute Sitsi finishes and I don't think I'm going to tell my Twitter again or download Instagram at least for that holiday because I am so at peace and <laughs> it's really nice. Um, but more importantly I had the realisation that, and this is kind of like the biggest summary of like what I've learnt from this experience of trying to do veg and what I've learnt this summer and I think that's going to be one of those things that's just like big life lesson. Um, I haven't been sharing or creating or doing things for the right reasons. Uh, I I don't think I posted this video, but I did make a video where I explained that I don't have hobbies anymore, and I don't I don't know if I uploaded it. I don't think I did, but I don't have hobbies anymore. I don't have passions anymore. I don't have anything <laughs> anymore, and I thought that was because of my mental health, and partially it is. You can't do that much when you don't want to do anything, but. Um, it's also down to the fact that I was doing things for the wrong reasons. I realised that most things I was sharing or doing for other people's validation and that was enough. That was almost enough to keep me going and it has for like the last year but uh, 
in this last week or two I started bullet journaling and really getting into it and it was the only thing I had left because I didn't um I got rid of social media and I haven't read or like actively drawn for a while which is those things that I do when I wouldn't be using social media um and I couldn't get into that because it was just too big of a difference I haven't done that in ages I haven't read a book for my own pleasure in forever um, and I think you need to ease into that. I can't just drop a book on me and like tell myself to read it because uh, it's too much of a change. It sounds drastic, but again, when you're as sensitive as me, I just think it's a big life lesson. Um, but, which is why I started bullet journaling because I love that and um, I really like being organisational. And there was this part of me that actively, when I was proud of something I'd done in it and it looked pretty, I immediately wanted to share it. And then I realised that I was like that with everything I did. And that is the most straightforward form of needing validation from other people and not doing anything for yourself. I started bullet journaling and I'm starting to realise the pleasure of doing stuff for yourself. Like, it's lovely. The fact that I can look at something, it can make me happy and I can be proud of it. And it's just, it's a private thing. It's me just having a nice little notebook. That makes me happy. Um, I haven't had that forever, I've forgotten what it was like and oh it's weird because I haven't felt like that about anything in a while and I didn't know obviously um, so yeah I've been doing things for the wrong reasons and I think that's really down to social media and how I saw it and saw other people and what their hobbies were like so that's what I've learned this summer, I need to change, I need to start doing things for myself and because I want to, because I like it and not because it'll look good on Instagram or because it'll make a good story on Twitter or because I don't know I can make a cover on YouTube or explain something and I can still do that but as long as I make it for myself which I think is a difference which is what I've learned I'm gonna do stuff for myself now I'm gonna make me happy and I'm not gonna need other people to make me happy and I think it's a big step um yeah I can still I'm still okay sharing things when I'm really proud of them, but I'm not going to actively do things because it makes other people happy. And I hadn't realised I'd done that, but that's how I've been running on fuel for the last year. So I think that's why when I ran out of like, when I didn't have school and I had time to be creative, I, I didn't have that anymore because I wasn't creative, because I was creating things for other people and I didn't want to share it for once. Which makes sense to me, might not make sense, but... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm just rambling and getting emotional, but... Anyway, yeah, so this might be the last thing that I upload on YouTube for a while, and that's fine, even though I really want to make things. I have time in Spain. But, yeah, my life isn't gonna be revolved around trying to impress people on YouTube anymore, so... Progress. Um, yeah, that was my summary of <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be at Sipsy, if I hadn't already insinuated that. Uh, I'm there all three days. I'm at pre City, um, Emmy's Gathering 2 on the Thursday. Um, so yeah, I'm Sitsi orientated all weekend. I don't really have anyone to be with at Sitsi. I've got the odd person, but um, I don't have a group like I used to. So uh, if anyone knows of me and would like to see me, even though I'm not that popular, but if you're going and we've never met or we have met, but you still want to see me, or I might want to see you, then hit me up. Uh, even though I don't have Twitter right now. Figure it out, we'll figure it out, but yeah, I'll be there. So, exciting. I don't, I don't know how to end this, it's fine. My YouTube's dead, I don't need outros anymore. Who, who cares? <laughs>